So I am currently driving to the hair salon and as you can see my hair is like in its natural state, curly and crazy. Um, I actually found out that I won a contest to go to the Grammys after party which is on Sunday, today is Friday and I found that out last weekend and you know I was kind of wary about prepping for it until I found out it was legit which is you know then I found out it was legit because I didn't even enter this contest like they just randomly tweeted me and was like hey do you have a MasterCard because MasterCard is the one who was like doing the promotion they're like well then you're going to the Grammys after party and it was just really random so I found this out I found out it was legit and I needed to get my hair done I haven't gotten a cut in a long time because I was traumatized by a past cut I need to get a dress today so today's Friday Grammys are on Sunday I'm doing a whole bunch of prepping today because it's my day off and I wanted to take you with me because I thought it'd be kind of a fun vlog so here we go so, because you have a lot of a lot of hair and it's really heavy um, while you're letting it air dry, a lot of times it tends to dry kind of flat. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people, curly girls, like to have volume on top. So this is a little trick to help you get some volume while your hair is air drying. So you can see where your hair is kind of forming natural yeah. places where it wants to pop up. You can take a little clip like this. Grab that those areas where they're naturally popping up. And insert a clip right there. So it's standing straight up on your head. Okay. And keep it there while your hair is air drying. It's going to help your hair naturally dry with a bit of volume. Take the clips out when your hair is dry and your hair is already kind of set because right. the product's in it. Set going like this. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to look like super funky like this. Right. You're going to have some height up there which you probably wouldn't have if you had more clips. That's cool. So did you do like the complete diva curl system on me right now? three step on you. So okay. We cleansed and conditioned you before we did your haircut. Then, after your haircut was done, we brought you back into the third step, which is the styling. Mm -hmm. So, we put the gel, we used the light defining gel and the styling cream. We cocktailed those together to give you support and hydration. And now we're styling you up and we're going to put you under some lights to help speed up the air drying process. And we'll finish you off with some diffusing so you can see what your hair looks like. Oh, yeah, curled up. Yay! I asked Brittany for a haircut and a hairstyle that looks good when it's curly but also that I can style when it's straight because I wear it both ways but because my hair was cut kind of botched last time at some other lady um, I could never really style it when it was curly I always just put it up or put it half up half down and it was boring so we're gonna get a nice cool bouncy looking curly do and I will show you the finished product when we're done you have so much hair. I know. Every single time I get my hair done, you're always like, you have so much. Yeah. And it's funny because when I get it colored, sometimes they have to charge me like double because they have to use more product. so much product on me. I was thinking about that when I was mixing up color for my other hair. <laughs> I was like, she would have raided me. <laughs> It's also important to bring it up right at the root. That's where you're getting your volume. Mm -hmm. You're helping encourage that curl. And is that what the combs in the diffuser are for? So you can get up into it? Yeah, it helps kind of separate the curl, bunch it up. So I can encourage it. You see how it's kind of softening up that yeah. really intense cold look? is the finished product it's so nice I really like it because the curls are really like all the same definition before it was kind of like some were wavy some were tighter so now I am walking up to the mall and hopefully we can find a dress hey, for this so thing. I'm at Macy's right now and I just found the first dress the whole day I've been looking for like an hour already and this is the first dress that I found that I could actually see myself wearing on Sunday and it's kind of like um, a high-low dress and there's kind of a slit here and I really like the color it's like almost a rose goldy kind of color and sure enough it fits me perfectly so I'm not sure how much longer I'm actually gonna look just because I'm really feeling this one um, 
I don't know, what do you guys think? For makeup, I'd probably do like a champagne-y wash and then maybe a bold lip, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna keep looking, I might put this one on hold, but this seems like the winner so far. So now I'm at JCPenney and I found another dress. This one is gorgeous and sparkly and pink and it's got these embroidered kind of silver sequins. A little tiny bit tight, but if I go up a size, then it's too big around the bust area. It's not uncomfortable though. I'm just afraid that it looks a little bit too prommy, if you know what I mean. And what I'm noticing on this dress, and it actually happened on the other one that I tried on too, was that the sparkles are coming off. And I don't think I'm gonna wash the dress before Sunday because I'm afraid that something weird is gonna happen, but the sparkles are falling out. But I think this is really flattering. It's so gorgeous and I love the color. But, and I totally would have worn this to prom had it been around in my day. But. So I'm at Windsor right now and trying on what they had on the sale rack. And I think the one that I have on now is like $25 or something really affordable. And then I think it's like an extra 50% off or something like that, something really good. And I like this one because again, it hits um, the floor without any shoes on. So it'd be a really good length with heels on. It's another high-low dress, a royal purple, and kind of a sequin, a black sequin beaded chest piece. Almost a sweetheart neckline, not quite. And then there's the zipper that goes down the front, and that's the only thing that I'm worried about because, you know, zippers, like, even in your pants, they kind of buckle a little bit and poke out. And right now I don't have a bra on just because I didn't want the straps to show. I just wanted to get the whole effect. And I don't know if even with a bra, it would kind of like fill this out a little bit because this this is kind of bothering me right at my cleavage. It pokes out a little bit. So I just, I don't know about the fit of it up here. I mean, it's comfortable and it fits well everywhere else, but it's just this zipper is making for a really weird silhouette. And this is my signature pose, like, you know, the prom pose with the hand on the hip and that silhouette's really important to me, so, so I guess we'll see. So I picked a little bit something out different this time, more cocktail -y with the black bottom and like a powder pink on top with the bejeweled neckline here. I like it, but I don't know if it's formal enough or, you know, Grammy is enough. Ooh, I can't decide. Still in Windsor, and I picked out, it's got like a black kind of fake sweetheart ne neckline, and then this kind of cabernet flowy high-low, but the high is on the left side and the low is on the right side. And then it's kind of got frills and layers, and I really like this color because this was kind of the color I envisioned wearing on Sunday when I was thinking like, oh, what kind of dress do I want? But, I don't know, I think, I don't know if the, the fabric of this looks too casual or cheap or, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I love this color and then I, I just don't know if I like the high-low this way as opposed to this way. Um, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> 